Hello everybody, this is Shayna from Kayuni Creations. Welcome to another video. Today I'm just going to share with you just some of the items that I picked up in my after, after Christmas haul. I just went to the three main stores, um, Joann's, Michael's, and of course Hobby Lobby. But thank you for those of you who are joining me for the first time and welcome. And to those of you who've been riding with me all along, guys, thanks for tuning in again. So let's go right into it. This is the last day of the year, my last video for the year, and I'm not going to keep you long because I know people have plans. So I'm going to start with Hobby Lobby. I picked up a little, some decor items. As you know, they have like 75% off of everything. So some of these items were anywhere from, you know, $1.25, you know, to $5, $6, maybe $7, just depending on what they are. And these are, they light up. And you can see, oh, the name of this bird is slipping me, and it's a common bird. Comes out at Christmas time. I'll get it. But I've got two of these. I just thought these were cute, so I'll probably incorporate it next year into my decor. I'll get the names of those in a second. And then I picked up these, um, they're, they're hollow boxes, almost like shadow boxes, in the form of a gift box. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them as yet. But again, everything was at 75% off. So these were originally $10. So they're a dollar something. Um, so, you know, the bells do ring. So not a form of decor that I'll try to incorporate. I don't know why I have everything in twos. And I thought these trees were cute. They actually look like they're made from spools. And of course, I got two of those. They don't do anything special. It's just a little bit of hemp twine around the wooden spool and then you've got the tree here and of course you can just set these down on a shelf or your fireplace or anywhere like that and of course I have I believe that these are ornaments I probably won't use them as that so I will see how I can incorporate these into my craft I might disassemble it or just use it for something else but anyway you've got good wooden beads here and wire and of course the ribbon and they come in a pack of four and these were originally $7.99, and I got them at 75% off. I just thought the natural beads were nice in case I don't want to use it as an ornament. And then also at Hobby Lobby, I couldn't leave this sign behind. I just thought it was cute. You know, you can just set it down again on your shelf. It's hollow at the back. Original price is $10. I just thought this was so cute. You put it down, um, what do you have, like on a console table, you know, or a shelf or your mantle, any place that you can put it to sit. And the last item that I got from Hobby Lobby was the snowman. I just love it. Right? Made from macrame twine, it looks like, because crocheted, his little crocheted hat. And he was originally $20.99. And of course, I got it at 75% off. Just about five dollars or so not bad for five dollars okay so these are the items i got from hobby lobby so i'm gonna move them aside and then we can do joanne's next move this little guy over you know i like to be neat and tidy so from Joann's, I stopped in the stamp section. I got these stamp and die cut sets. Um, Hero Arts. Of course, you've got little birds that nest and the, the, uh, the dies to cut them out. And these are down to $5.47. I've got, I also picked up another one. This is the same. This is $5.47 as well in Joann's. It's just a carnival. And then you have these Park Lane ones, which were like $1.97 on clearance, down from $2.49, and Sunflowers, $1.49. So these are the ones that I have from Joann's, Clear Poly Stamps. So I'm going to have some fun with those later on during the year. I also got these Tim Holtz metal pieces. They're 42 pieces, and they just got letters on them, A and B. 
and they're type chips they call them so you can use them in your junk journals i'm not gonna open it in your junk journals a firm and so on so that would be a nice piece and then i stopped in the jewelry section because they were half 50 percent off and i just picked these up i know i loved oh i didn't notice that, that was chipped oh all right that's on me but you know i usually use these when i'm making my charms for junk journals but i thought these were some beautiful colors you got nice shades of pink and almost magenta it looks like glass in blue glass beads and of course we have this here i love that pattern on this so those is what i picked up on that side and then of course i had to be in the paper crafts aisle find my thing knife actually this is a small one i actually got this in two sizes i went to two different joann's as i happened to go got this other it's a mechanical light i think this is from hobby lobby where you have the battery light of the candle but in joann's i have so i, I don't know I, apparently i picked this one up before because i went out on two different days I went to one Joann's one and I was doing some other stuff in a different area and I decided to just stop in at that Joann's too and I picked up the little one. But I'm going to open the big one so you can see it. I just think this is beautiful paper. I'm going to go ahead and slit this. I don't know where my X-Acto knife disappeared to. So I'm going to do a quick flip through so you can see. Oh, chipboard. See the pages? And they are double-sided so you have your cut aparts here beautiful paper and back and front so i'm just going to go through quickly so that you can see them and there's this is like foil foil again foil on this one there. it's kind of shiny that's a real beautiful print this is nice and shiny too I thought it was pretty. I think this was the last one left on the shelf in that particular Joann's. Look at this one. I love this. And this little one was the last one left in the other Joann's. So it must be a pretty popular paper pad that everybody wanted to snatch up. So I have this one here. And this is another one that I picked up at Joann's as well. It's a die cut with a view brand. And they were 50% off, so these were like about $8, which would die cut to the view is a steal. You just grab those when you can. So this one is called Floral Paradise. You know I love my pretty tropical colors, being a Caribbean girl and all. So I'm going to flip through this. Just look at those. Oh, how bold and bright they are. Pretty. I use it especially in my Brera Nancy junk journals that I make. I'll be doing some more tropical junk journals this year. Just to shake, just to change it up a little bit from the vintage style ones and the rustic journals that I do. But look at these colors. Look at these patterns, these prints. Love it. I love magenta. So just to give you an idea, in case you were looking to pick it up. And it looks as though you've got two of each pattern and they are double-sided which works out perfect for journals you have some foil in here i don't know if you can see that with the light but the colors in here are awesome i'm gonna put this over here for a little bit and then i grabbed another one of the die cuts with a view i do love this brand i do like that they're double-sided and they do have some interesting patterns. And I wish I could put my hand on my X-Acto knife, but we'll make do with the scissors for now. And again, this one is Urban Street. Let's look at the patterns. Love these earth tones. So there's a lot of blacks and browns, like I said, earth tones. So these are... Well, you'd have to cut them out if you wanted to use them individually. You got, you know, the bold, the black, and the, the navy blues, the browns, the creams. So I think it's a beautiful combination. Of course, the foil. So if you're looking to pick this one up, you have a sneak peek of what it looks like. 
I'll look at this one here. And it looks as though to be two of each again, double-sided. It's pretty. And again, tropical colors and earth tones. I tend to move more towards those. So this is very pretty. It's like a street pattern. Like a city. It sure is. Interesting. Like a map. Alright, so and here you go. Now you've got the cut apart in front here. Haha, <laughs> cassette tape. So if you're a 90s baby like me, you know what these are. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what else. And also in Joanne's, I picked up another die cut to the view, Floral Moon. Again, it's the earth tones that got me. And the tropical colors is more like forest. So the tropical colors can either be bright or they can be like the forest tones, the browns and the greens, the deep blues. So this here, this one is Floral Moon. Same die cut to the view. For the view. Of course, double-sided. And this is what it looks like. So love these patterns. So there's a little bit of a crescent moon in most of them. These are butterflies. Pretty colors. Oh, look at that. This is nice. I love that little mint green. And at the back is the black and white. Of course, you've got your flora, the moon again. This is actually a pretty good one. Cut apart. All right, you've got those. Greens, the browns, the creams. Rose gold is another color that I love. Okay, you can strip those, and voila. And then I have two more, I'm almost done with Joann's. This one is Desert Blossom. I guess it's a similar colors too. Okay, so almost, you don't recognize that. So Desert Blossom. So let's flip through this here quickly to see what we have. So it's a nice mustard color. So we got some desert images. Okay. It's the same desert image. A little bit of blush. Look at that. It's pretty. Looks almost like native Indian in some of the patterns. And of course the cactus and so on and so forth. The colors. Earth tones again. You know, that's my jam. Pretty cut apart. But that's a nice bold pattern. It's almost like an African pattern. You got your tropical broad leaves. So some nice patterns. Love it. All right. And I have one more. And the last one I picked up was Indigo. So Indigo Craft and Rose Gold. I love Rose Gold. So let's see what we have here. So here you go, Indio Craft or Indigo Craft and Rose Gold. And again, I love these colors, the dark blues, the peaches. Oh, look at that. This is kind of a foil as well. So if you can see that in the light, well, that is pretty. You have your cut aparts. And again, two of each. Nice patterns and colors. Back to the earth tones. This is just like indigo wood. You got the gold, the rose gold in here. And of course, your light and dark blue. So this is they're all pretty. Polka dots. Two of each. Alright, so very nice colors. Yep. Okay. So these are the paper pads that I got from Joanne's. Um and then on my way out, I just kind of grabbed these two books just for a little bit of decor in my home. I know that they're books. So you can store stuff inside here if you wanted to. So we got Santa Claus here, Seasons Greetings. And I think these were like, these were, I think were 90% off or something like that. Or 80%. It was just going. And so I just grabbed two of them. It's pretty. So I guess you can stack them on a bookshelf or, again, 
the ta console table under the table above it put something on it I don't know if this guy works up there but <laughs> we'll see where we are with that so we did Hobby Lobby we did Joann's yeah maybe I didn't get anything in Michael's but I did well, it looks like that is it, guys. I think the stuff in Michael's I got were like plant pots. They had the ceramic plant pots like were $5. Um, like the big black ones and some nice beige ones that I got. So it's just a little bit of home decor. So I didn't bring those up here. Like I did not. I, I was in Michael's and I think that is what I picked up in there. But um, you know, if you're still interested, they may still have some of these things still. Probably today and tomorrow. Um, Hobby Lobby still had a few items left they're all at 75 percent off i don't know if it's going to go lower than that but if you wanted to check them out these are some of the things that they had in there well i hope you guys have a safe old year's night as we say in the caribbean i know it's new year's eve over here um, whether you're going to church or whether you're going to be ringing in the new year at a new year's eve party or an old year's night party depending on what part of the globe you are just make sure that you are safe. Don't drink and drive. And guys, Happy New Year. And thank you for your support throughout the year. I want you guys to have a blessed evening. And until next time, have a blessed day. Bye.